it, it was unbelievable that uh, i actually tried for like 100 or 200 uh, job opportunities uh, but after we changed the resume uh, within a weeks time i think i got my first call Welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Tamu. I'm managing partner of Find a Job in Germany. And today I'm here with my former coach, Raul. Hey, Raul, how are you today? I'm good, Tamu. How are you today? It's been uh, also... good to see you after a long time. <laughs> It's been a while, yeah. Raul yeah. and I, we started working together, I think, in November 2022. You got an offer to Germany in March 2023 and you moved here in August. So you are now living in Germany for more or less seven months. Uh, maybe give us a short intro about who you are, what you're doing. Thank you, Tamo. So my name is uh, Rahul. Uh, I'm from India. And uh, it's been seven months since I'm in Germany. Uh, so my journey started with uh, basically looking for uh, opportunities uh, in Canada, Singapore, all over Europe. And then finally, I stumbled upon you guys. Uh, I met your team. And finally decided that uh, Germany uh, is a is a growing economy and it's a land full of opportunities. And that's when I decided that, uh, you know, we'll start trying to work in Germany. And uh, I work here as a senior front-end engineer. Cool. You're mainly working with React, right? I mainly work with React and TypeScript. Cool. Awesome. Tell me, um, when we started together, what were the first steps um, we did together to yeah, to prepare you for, for the German job market? So I think uh, the first most step that was important was to make sure how you present yourself. So I think we first went through on building the resume because I think the first thing that employers look at is uh, your skill sets, your, your capabilities, uh, whether it matches to the German standards or not. And I'm sure they keep a little bit of buffer, but what's more important is your skill sets. So the, building the resume was the first step on making sure that we we cover all the key points, the skill sets, everything is described in a proper format. Exactly. Right. And then we started applying together. You got your first calls, your first interview calls. How was that? How was the interview process? <laughs> Oh, uh, it was unbelievable that uh, I actually tried for like 100 or 200 uh, job opportunities. Uh, but after we changed the resume, uh, within a week's time, I think I got my first call. And I think it was pretty straightforward. The The first call is usually, you know, is getting to know the, is for, for the employer to know your skill sets uh, your personality and other basic things. And then you have the technical round and the cultural fit round and so on. Yeah, exactly. So first learning without a good CV, uh, you can apply to 1000 jobs, you will not get a call. So you need a CV which is targeted uh, or which the German HR understands, right? <laughs> yes. And what do you remember the first uh, rounds? How was that for you? Was it Did you know that from India or what was new there, the first interview rounds? Uh, it had been actually a while since I had um, uh, given interviews uh, in India. But I think the way interview works in Germany is uh, a little bit different because they don't only look at your skill sets, but they also look at how you present yourself. Mm. Uh, uh, and they also try to foresee of that how you will fit in the company. So the expectation is also that how much you know about the company, you know, whether you are passionate about what you do exactly and not just look at it as a, an, or any other job. So that's that's what's more important. Exactly. Long-term commitment, understanding the company. Yes. Yeah. And then the tech rounds, second, third rounds are usually technical. <laughs> what would you say, what was different there to, to how you knew it from India? Uh, the technical round usually... Uh, there are two different types of technical round that happens over here. Uh, one is a verbal technical round where they actually ask you like technical questions and to see whether you have a good understanding, you have a good uh, tech understanding of the of the programming language. Like for me, it was front end, so they were actually trying to test if I know TypeScript, if I know JavaScript pretty well or not. And uh, once you pass that, it's uh, always followed by a code challenge 
where they probably give you an assignment and uh, yeah you and they give you like a week's time or a two weeks time and you have to you make sure that you complete that uh, mm-hmm. coding challenge and how well do you document it how well do you write your code that's that's important yeah cool and um how did you feel when you had the first coding challenges and um how did that go for you initially uh, i'll be really honest i failed for the first uh, couple of uh, interviews and the coding challenges because i think the standards that we follow in india and the standards that are required for germany are pretty much different so the expectation is the bars are slightly higher over, mm-hmm. over here so you will take some time to get used to it but uh, eventually you will learn what they actually need so uh, so the coding challenge i mean the challenges were pretty much simple but what they evaluate is the way you organize the structure of your folders and files how well organized are you are in your work uh, it doesn't matter if it has some errors or anything but all in all what matters is the scalability and the flexibility in the code that you write that's that's more important exactly yeah clean work structured clean approach work. yeah that's really key for for german companies and um then the last interview rounds how would you describe them <clears throat> uh for me uh, uh i think the last interview round was uh, more of of your uh, your salary discussion rounds and uh, i mean usually there is a cultural bit round as well but for me it was just the salary discussion round so i don't have much to say in that but i think over all in all they just want to understand um uh, your readiness to move to another country if you are able to uh, fit in the new community if you are ready to adapt and embrace to uh, to new culture and all of that and if they see that you are ready enough for that i mean they really really will be happy cool awesome and do you need to speak german a little bit but so, not for the interview process right or work not for the interview process but i can just say habe sie einen uh, guten tag have a good day <laughs> you, le- you learned yeah. the german you started le- learning german now in germany uh i can when i read i do understand so mm. when i have when i so it's been 7 months now of course uh, like we go to you know we go to these uh, supermarkets and uh, you know we use words like mit karte and uh, things mm. like those you know starting with the simple ones you know uh, greeting people at least guten tag guten morgen things mm. like those i think um, yeah it really helps and i and you know we when when you're here it, it's kind of uh, you purely feel happy because when germans hear you saying that right they they really are happy to hear you say that <laughs> that's true but just yeah. to, to because a lot of people thinking they need to be able to speak german to secure a job um in the process that is that's not the case right english is perfectly fine for the interview process to start working mm-hmm. everything uh, language language is definitely a challenge here, but i guess uh, if you are willing to move here and stay in here long term you will eventually learn and understand you know and uh, also thank you to all these translation apps that you have mm-hmm. like even if you pick up a word and you try to learn one word every day i think it's good enough for you to get used to it and uh, i see that more and more companies are willing to uh, employ people with only english speaking skills yeah. there are two different types of companies one which also allow you to speak in english and also let you learn german mm-hmm. as while you're working at the same time so i see that uh, it's not a big challenge in germany so far i mean for for me it has not been because it's an english speaking company so it has been great so far cool and you you remember the day you you got the offer how did you feel then <laughs> <laughs> yeah i was uh, i i just couldn't uh, believe like uh, because uh, after having uh, done so many interviews uh, i'm sure like i must have like reached out to you multiple times uh, i have felt so discouraged you know uh, i still recall those moments when i felt discouraged but your encouragement through interviews and challenges kept me motivated mm-hmm. i mean so you know that moment was um, i just could not describe you know like and uh, we were we were super super happy that we found something 
like it was like a dream basically it was something that i always wanted to pursue cool awesome that's great to hear and um you got the offer and um then it unfortunately took some time for you right it took like four, five months four months to to process the visa in your case right yes the, the visa process is quite uh, exhaustive uh, i will say i recommend planning your trips at least two to three months in advance because depending on the readiness to fulfill all the prerequisites uh, that are required for the visa process because the visa requires you uh, go through a lot of documentation a lot of verifications especially if you're uh, moving planning to move with your family i've seen uh, people who have waited for like months and going into double verifications you know so yeah it, it's it's quite uh, exhaustive but uh, all in all i'll say that once you reach here uh, it's you'll just feel that it's worth it cool awesome and um, nowadays the uh, just to for the other viewers if you have a university degree nowadays the visa processing time from india is two to three weeks yeah so that also changed a lot in the last especially in the last year visas got so much quicker that's on the positive note um so we really don't have those cases anymore where it takes three four five six months um yeah. that's a good news um Awesome. Is there anything else you wanted to share about, I don't know, the interview process, the process of finding a job in Germany, which you which you think is worth sharing also to other um, viewers who might consider moving to Germany soon? Uh, so firstly, I think a lot of people have a, a misconception about uh, language being a barrier in Germany, which I personally did not feel so. I think uh, Germany uh, has been a really, I mean, Germany really, welcomes you uh, we personally haven't felt anything so far that because i think there's a huge uh, diversity over here and uh, and the first and the most important thing is work life balance one once you move to germany you will realize how much of a positive impact it has on your overall health to be really mm -hmm. honest because i think this is really really important for everyone who is looking for an opportunity you know and uh, you will also be fascinated that the brand the brands that you have grew up with the brands that you've seen since your childhood they actually headquartered in germany mm. so that is also and you have the opportunity to work with them mm. you know so i see that as a great future uh, for people who are for all the expats who are looking you know and considering germany as uh, uh, one of their uh, aspects of career growth yeah cool Awesome. Thanks for sharing. Um Rahul, that was really insightful. Um I wish you all the best. Um stay safe in Friedrichshafen and continue learning German and so we're gonna talk soon again. See you soon. Yeah. Bye bye. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. You Thank too. You. Thank you. And just for everybody watching, if you're interested in moving to Germany, if you're working in tech and IT, watch our 20 minutes video training, which you'll find below this video and understand how we work and then book a get to know call with us. We're gonna assess your profile. And if we think you have good chances of landing a job, we're going to work with you. And yeah, then you maybe also end up in a success video, but you don't have to like this one. See you soon. Bye-bye. Auf Wiedersehen.